guys, these are my predictions for WWE Money in the Bank. Now, I've been sitting here making my like, card for my notes, and I didn't realize there's so much on this show. I thought it would be the two Money in the Bank matches, like two or three smaller matches, and that's it. But there's actually six matches on this card, including the two Money in the Bank. And it's pretty much all the titles except the, uh, the Universal title. So, uh, yeah, I mean, it don't look like a bad show. It's actually, I'm interested in the men's Money in the Bank because there's so many directions they can go, and we'll get to that. But, these are my predictions. Can you go down the card and give you my, uh, my thoughts and then I think will happen. So, let's start with the United States title. Austin Theory versus Bobby Lashley. This feud has been pretty stupid, in my opinion. They got Bobby going out there and doing a, a pose off with the theory. It's, it's ridiculous. And I don't know if theory is gonna, gonna fight Cena or what, but I think for the time being, he's gonna retain the U.S. title. So I got theory retaining. And it's not gonna be a great match, but it's not gonna be a bad match. Um, look, might be a great match, and it might be match of the night is the Usos versus the Street Profits for the Undisputed Tag Team titles. I didn't know this was going to be on the show until, I think, the last Friday? Um, well, matter of fact, until this Monday, because they said it in the backstage promo with Cena. So, they're facing the Usos for the United, the Undisputed Tag Team title. And I don't know, I love it to look straight profits, but I don't think the Usos are losing it yet. So, I don't know, this is hard. Because, are we not going to have a title change? And that's spoiling kind of the other matches. But, I'm going to go with the Usos to retain. Smackdown Women's title, Ronda Rousey versus Natty. This feud is horrible. I don't like Rousey as champion. Her might skills, they kind of suck. I mean, Natty did her best to put interest in this field, but I'm just not interested. But we all know Rhonda's not losing it until Charlotte comes back, so I'm going to pick Rhonda to retain. Next. We got Bianca versus Carmella for the Raw Women's title. This match was just thrown together. Um, I think Carmella won a, a Fatal Five Day, I think. So, she's in a challenge. And just like the last match, uh, Bianca is not losing. So, I'm going to pick Bianca to retain. Uh, we got the, the women's Money in the Bank match. We got Lacey Evans, Alexa Bliss, Liv Morgan, Shotzi, Raquel Gonzalez, uh, Asuka, and Becky Lynch. I don't see Asuka winning Again, like the 
Did she win? She won last year? Oh no, last year was Nikki. Uh, she won the year before. And they named her uh, the chip. Like Becky had a kid. So, I don't see Oscar winning. I don't see Becky winning. I, actually, I see them two counteracting each other in the match. Um, I don't see Shotzi. They could give it to Raquel because they've been pushing her, but I don't know. I don't want to see that. Liv Morgan, I would like to see, but they, they've given her title shots and she hasn't won. So I don't think they see anything in, in Liv. Lacey Evans, they could give it to her, but honestly, I think the only the real pick to go look here is Alexa Bliss. And I think Alexa Bliss cashing in on maybe Ronda would be good. So I think Alexa Bliss is going to win the, uh, the women's money in the bank. Now, really quick, before we get into the men's, they could add, you know, a match in between um, they could do Ezekiel versus Kaya, KO, and the winner gets in the men's uh, Rumble match, because I think that's going to main event. So, they could do that if they don't do it on SmackDown, or, I don't know, maybe they're doing Judgment Day versus the Mysterios. On SmackDown, not on SmackDown, next week on Raw. I don't know. I think maybe Ezekiel and Kayo, they'll definitely had one or two quick matches on this card. But let's get into the main event. It's the men's Money in the Bank. We got Rollins versus Sheamus versus Drew versus Sami Zayn versus Omas versus Riddle versus To Be Announced. Um, did I get everybody? Yeah, I think I said everybody. So, this match is interesting. They could go with a couple of different uh, stories. They can have Rollins win and recreate the WrestleMania moment where he cashed in on Brock and Roman, they can have him do that at SummerSlam. Um, they can give it to, to Riddle. Um, Riddle is hot right now, and he's got that he can't challenge for the title as long as Roman is champ. So they can give him the briefcase as like a loophole. Kinda. So, they could give it to Riddle. Um, they teased something with Sammy there. He was like, don't worry, I'll win it and I will cash in on Roman. I'll cash in on Brock. So, could Sammy turn on Roman and, you know, have Brock win at SummerSlam so he can cash in. That's interesting. Something to look for. Um, it's not true because he came out a month ago and he said he's challenging for the title at the, uh, the UK pay-per-view. What is it? Clash of the Kingdom? So, I don't think it's true. So, we have Rowling's Riddle, and Sammy. That's the three, uh, routes. They could go. We have Omos in this match. Who likes to see that? I don't know. And if they put Ezekiel or KO in this match, I mean, they could go. Look at Ezekiel as the underdog pick, but just like back 
Ricky and Oscar, I maybe I go because it's only KO. Oh yeah, just like um Becky and Oscar, I think if either one gets in the match, I think the other one is gonna cost them the match. Maybe. So everybody's going to Rollins and it would make sense. Him cashing in at SummerSlam, holding the title until Mania, uh, Cody Rhodes winning uh, Royal Rumble, and it all comes full circle with Rhodes versus uh, Seth at WrestleMania. So that makes the most sense. Um, I want to go with Sammy as much fun as that story would be. You know, him holding on to the, the money in the bank. I want to go with Riddle. I think I'm going to go with Rollins. I like the full circle story. That's if he cashes in successfully at money in the bank. We don't know. Or, you know what? Uh, I don't know. Because I think their plan is to separate the titles before money um WrestleMania. So, if they got Roman as the Universal title champion still, and they find a way to get because the uh, WWE Championship off of Roman, I don't know. I'm doing too much thinking. I'm going to go Rollins. So, those are my predictions for Money in the Bank. And honestly, it looks like a decent card. You got the two ladder matches. Those are always fun unless, you know, they pull in Ellsberg and have him win it for uh, a woman like they did. And then they had the whole rematch on Raw. But Money in the Bank is always fun, so those are good matches. You got um, the Usos versus the Street Profits. That might be match of the night. And Gary and Bobby. It could be good. And if they put KO versus Zeke on that card, that could be a good match too. They've been having good matches. But that goes my predictions. Let me know what you think in the comments, who your picks are. If you agree with me, if you don't, let me know. But uh, yeah, join me. The pay-per-view is Saturday, I think. So join me Sunday at around, you know, 2 a.m. like I usually post it. Join me Sunday for my review. But leave a like if you like predictions. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on your post notifications so you know when I upload. I can actually do my in my outro this video. Um, have a nice day, guys. Peace.